Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 8th through to the 14th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Devil in reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, the Magician upright. Two of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Four of Swords upright, and Lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright. So you have three Major Arcana in the reading. Could be a little bit of an important or intense uh, week for you, ca uh, Cancer. The overall energy, Capricorn energy, Devil in the reverse position, pointing to um, either, for some of you, this is representing uh, having uh, whatever uh, we all have, addictions to things whether it be overthinking whether it be shopping whether it be smoking drinking gambling what have you when it's in the upright position this can point to having those temptations there and being sort of tempted to you know delve into that again when the card is reversed, however, this can point to overcoming the addiction. So if, say, for example, you just started a diet, well, it could be that you find your, your willpower is really, really strong this week. <laughs> for others of you, this can be about not allowing fear to hold you back from something that you really, really want to do. So take what uh, applies. Remember, leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonates for you and how so. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the magician in the upright position, which lets me know that you're trying to manifest something. You're trying to bring something as above, so below into uh, manifestation. So here you are, very focused, blinders on, strong confidence, moving towards a goal that you're trying to bring about here. Now, that's why I feel for most of you, the devil in reverse is probably about overcoming fear. Because sometimes when we're manifesting something, especially if it's something really important, um, we can sometimes get a little bit fearful of, oh, but what if this happens, then what? You know, that kind of thing. Or for some of you, perhaps it's, you know, you have to resist the temptation in order to have this manifest for you. So next card you have up is the two of pentacles in the upright position, which is a card that represents harmony in the midst of change. So Cancer, it looks like you are trying to change something. You're trying to bring some kind of change in. You're manifesting a change. Now, for some of you, it could be uh, a duality. Like say, for example, you have a home and you want to purchase a, a vacation home. So now you're going to have two properties to sort of be juggling. For others of you, this could be two people. Sometimes people are juggling two people because you're single and dating and you're not committed to either relationship. So it's fine. Everything's moving along hunky-dory. <laughs> For others of you, the two of pentacles can represent um, juggling your finances, trying to balance everything out in terms of your finances. But again, the two of pentacles represents harmony and it is a two, which is a very balanced energy. Moving towards the weekend, we have the four of swords in the upright position. This points to... Um, needing to take a step back a rest it's uh for some of you you've just been maybe burning the candle at both ends maybe you've been doing a lot and you just need a rest day some of you need a mental health day some of you uh, perhaps are just not feeling well and you just need to kind of take the day off others of you um, this could be just sort of resting and recuperating before uh, more challenges come about for you but there's a need to rest could be recuperating after a, um, a surgery or something like that or you could be just laid up and you know you can't move or maybe some of you sprained your ankle and you just can't really go anywhere <laughs> but it's okay because you've got this under control last card you have is the taurus energy the Hierophant in the upright position, which points to um, contracts and making a commitment to something. So for some of you, perhaps that's what you've been manifesting, maybe a commitment to a person. Definitely the Hierophant can represent, you know, signing a marriage contract or something like that. So maybe some of you are taking a little bit of a rest before your wedding day. <laughs> Others of you, you could be... Um, 
Uh, it's just maybe taking a little rest before you're changing jobs. Two of Pentacles can indicate, you know, m like moving from one job to the next or moving from one home to the next. So this commitment could be a commitment to a new home. It could be a commitment to a new job or a... Um, uh, it could be a commitment to pretty much anything. Even um, a lot of times the Hierophant can um, represent being you know, going in towards something official where it's, you know, conventional, could be a church, could be um, a school where you're signing a contract for a six month term, things like that. It could be uh, joining a, a new spiritual group or a new congregation for your church, that kind of thing. But you're making a solid commitment. And some of you are just needing to rest up prior to getting involved in this very serious commitment. So that's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Um, yeah, have a wonderful week. Bye-bye for now.